Okay, so I think we're ready to start mounting the dish drive into um, this and then the, the black inner support piece. Um, but I want to make sure this gets situated here first. Uh, so in order to help cut holes, because it's not going to fit like through, um, it's not going to fit normally, right? Uh, we could do this, but it's not centered. Uh, and I would like it to be centered just for looks. So. Uh, I think the first step is, is we need to take out this middle screw post uh, just because it's in the way of mounting this. And then when we're ready, um, I actually have two different stencils, one that I won't use and one that I will. Uh, this one I made here, uh, I made just by taking a picture of the disk drive and then uh, sketching in the Fusion 360 and then extruding it and then printing out a plan of it. It's not great. Um, so I found this. Uh, well, part of this. Uh, somebody had made a new upper lid for the GameCube to house full-size DVDs. Uh, so what I did is I took that model and I pretty much cut away everything that's not the outline of the disk drive. And this fits really well on top of the disk drive. So it's a good cutting um, stencil. So my plan is, is once we manage to figure out how to center this, I'm going to just tape this down and we can cut around it. We'll have our cutout and then we can fill in any holes that are needed. So. Uh, to start, let's take out let's take out the center post. All right, so it's been it's been trimmed out. So now, if we were to take the disk drive, uh, we'll take it actually in all of its housing. We should be able to just fit it comfortably in the center. And actually, now, huh. one second. Right, so I was worried that I'd have to, oh, well, I wasn't worried. I was expecting to have to cut in order for this to um, to fit because I wanted it to be flush, but I think we might actually be able to get away with mounting it like this and then just keeping it out of the way of everything else. So if I take the Okay, yeah, you know what? We are going to have to cut it. So I was thinking that we could get away with not cutting it, but the problem is, is that the disc then sits pretty much on on the red plastic and that um, that's going to scratch this the disc. So, okay. So I'm going to find a good center for this. Uh, making sure I'm gonna find a good center. I'm gonna make sure it's out of the way of the uh, lid hinge doors, just so that I don't have to worry about that. Um, and then we can take a stencil for it. So, so I'm gonna take that in place. I'm gonna get it cut out, and then we'll be back. So I just want to point something out before I uh, continue this. So this the the part with the red the the red part is cut. Um, and it fits actually really well. It's snug, which is nice uh, for, for fitments. Um, and it looks good, actually. It looks a lot better than I was hoping it would. So the next part is then I have to cut the black uh, inner support so that it fits around this uh, so that I can screw this in and then mount the disk drive to this. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. I've marked out a few spots where I think I can cut and this can then just slip in. So I'm just going to use a cutoff wheel and cut around that because the, uh, the stencil is not all that helpful uh, mostly just because I think that um, I don't really have a good way to line up on the black part where the upside of the dish drive is so I'm just going to kind of cut around this uh, so that it just drops right in while still trying to maintain some uh, rigidity on it so I'm going to cut this and we're going to try and get it get the dish drive in with this around it uh, and then we'll figure out how to actually mount the dish drive to this section of it so I'll be back after that so this is the solution I came up with for mounting it. Uh, there are two 3D printed, uh, I don't even know what to call them, brackets, I guess. Uh, basically what they do is they screw into these existing um, through holes on the disk drive. Although I don't think these are screw holes, they're just, I guess, injection molding holes from the factory. Um, so there are two screws for each that screw into those holes and they get threaded as I screw them in. Um, and then one big one, on each that connects to a previously used, now unused, 
um, hole on the inner housing. Uh, and what that does is it squishes these down into the housing so that it stays as one big piece. Uh, and then once the black inner housing is screwed onto the red, you know, outer housing, um, it'll all be secured in place. So uh, it actually fits, it actually looks really good. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I think the next step now is to, I think to game the controller ports. So I'm thinking of right now, putting them in the front right here, uh, we'll drill holes for them. We'll do one, two, three, four. Uh, and then those will be relocated off of the daughter board. Those will be relocated off the daughter board. This plastic comes out and each of these ports will just get extended and then drilled into, or screwed into the holes. And I think that's the plan because relocating this whole board is not really feasible. So that's the next step. And I, I'm gonna get started on that soon. And that'll be the next video is drilling holes, relocating ports, uh, maybe memory cards as well. So that'll be a bit of a longer one. Uh, so thank you for watching on uh, my process on doing this. I actually learned a lot doing it, uh, and I hope you guys come by for the next one. Thank you again.